And welcome to GoBodies.com. I'm here with head coach Bob McFarland and junior runner Harley Thompson. The men just came off their first invite win in over 10 years, capturing the title at the Seton Hill Griffin Classic in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Coach, I just want to start off by saying, last week the girls made history. How does it feel for the guys to make history? Uh, it was really nice. I felt really good. But before we go on, it's a little bit longer than a decade, just because uh, if you really want to count uh, the victory over alumnus. I mean, so <laughs> yes, that's right. That's that's right. The, <laughs> so it's in a, little two, longer, it's a little longer than in two thousand three. The guys beat the SBU alum Plus. team, but <laughs> the records don't go back further no. than that. No, that's so we right. don't know what who the last invite one was, right? Right. So what I'm happy for those guys because uh, they were upset with themselves at the last invitational, you know, at the little three, and they knew they could do much better. And so they came back with a little bit of revenge, and they knew that they could be in it uh, from the from the very beginning. And uh, uh, being upset was really good, you know. I didn't have to really get on them about it because they all, on uh, their logs that they give to me every week, every one of them was very upset with what they did and they thought they could do better. But, you know, you just move forward with that. You have to have a short-term memory in running. So uh, they did very well, was very happy. Yes, it is a tough course, but it's tough for everybody else too. And uh, it was hot, but it was hot for everybody else. But uh, they did very well mentally. They were challenged, as like I said, for the women, and they came through in flying colors. Absolutely. And so Harley, you had a significant portion in playing in that role to get the Bonnies to win. You, in your first AK of the season, you were fourth place, but you were second in terms of scoring because of two unattached runners that ran in the race. So, I guess, how did it feel to have such an impressive performance in your first race coming back? Um, obviously, it wasn't time-based at all, but. I was very happy with the outcome in the end when I came through as the first runner on the team and so close to the front. I was running the, close to the front the whole race. Um, it's just it's just the first race, so I really don't know where I'm at right now. I know I'm really strong. I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season, um, but I'm looking to build off of that time and, and get better and better for that for sure. And that's absolutely the, that, that's the idea is and Harley's absolutely correct in his <coughs> assumption there is that uh, we're working towards our race at the end at the eight tens and regionals. That's what we're looking for to have our PRs at that given time. Uh, everything that we run up through now is basically uh, work base. Uh, we go into the meets. Uh, with the attitude that we're going to have a good workout today. Yes, we're going to be competitive. We want to be competitive, but at the same token, it's it's we're trying to get stronger and stronger by the end of the season so we can have our best at the end. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach, and thank you, Harley, for your time. And the men will next race at the National Catholic Championships held at the University of Notre Dame. The sub-varsity race will take place at 3.30, followed by the women's race at 4.15, and then the guys' championship race will take place at 5 o'clock. For GoBonnies.com, I'm Chris.